No need to stop, we've got a, an unusual vehicle. I've uh, ne certainly never had one before, never sold one before. And uh, to be honest, I don't recall seeing one on the road. And I've been to uh, several um, motor days and motor launches. Anyway, it's a, it's a Ford EcoSport. It's a 1.5 TDCI Titanium, uh, five door. It's 2016 on a 16 plate and has done 28,150 miles. Two registered owners, fuel economy. And it's, it's extremely good. Um, fuel consumption, urban, 58.9. Extra-urban, 65.7. And combined is uh, 64.2. Now, it's, on, it's five speed. It makes me think it, it might just be in need of a, a sixth gear. But uh, you, you probably won't be able to accelerate very fast with that. 12 months road tax, £30. And it's MOT till the 14th of... April 2020. Okay, I'll just show you under the bonnet. There you go. It's like new underneath there. Lance has cleaned it, but uh, it's uh, it's really really clean. Beautiful, in fact. Nice chrome grill. We've got the bright work in the, the top part of the grill there as well. The uh, headlamp surrounds and also the fog lamps. It's, uh, it's a really, really nice clean car. We've just had the wheels refurbed there. Um, so they're like brand new as well. The plastic sill and door protectors, the roof carrier system, rear privacy glass. We've got these uh, also easy entry doors with a little black button on there if you've got the key on you you press it you can open the door or when you get out you can lock it as well so when it first came in look <laughs> trying to get in the back here looks all the usual places sometimes it's the badge that you you click and press like on vw's couldn't find anything under here looked all over the back couldn't find anything went inside still couldn't find anything and uh, i was just scratching my head a little bit and then i saw this bit in the rear lamp this kind of got a reversing lamp on that side and then this chrome piece on here and again you've got the little black button for opening and closing the doors so i've made sure it's open um then i'm, I'm kind of pressing and pulling this handle expecting it to pull out like so because it, it looks like it hinges from there it doesn't there's another electric switch which is under here so you press the electric switch and then I'm expecting it to fold up like so I've only been in the job 48 years so I'm, I'm still learning so then you're pressing this and trying to pull it up anyhow let's just unlock it click the button and then it falls out like so, which is a, it, it's a, it's a good enough idea. Or oh, there's, that's where I put my phone. So rear load cover, not fantastic amount of uh, luggage space, but enough. Again, I've got all my camera equipment in there, me me barber jacket, ordinary jacket, which I'll just straighten out, and uh, tripod and so on. So the, this there's enough room, and if you're going to be buying a, a fairly small car like this it's probably just a, a run around for the shopping there's plenty of room for that and if there's not you can always put the back seats down I think they let me just see yeah 60 40 split in there and uh, again we've got rear wash white privacy glass the kind of four-wheel drive again scuttle plate there and we've also got reversing sensors in the back there it's it's a real um, it's a real well spec little car to be honest it's got everything you would you would expect in a big car I'll, I'll just show you in the back so it's like new in the back <laughs> the floor and the carpets were like new until I just got in with my muddy feet but it's uh, there's, there's plenty of headroom here absolutely loads I'm, I'm sat there I've got my seat more forward than I normally would but um, the good thing with these is, because they're higher up and because the seat's higher up, 
you've got more leg room going down not lengthways but going down so you, you're still very comfortable once you put the rear headrest up like so you've also got plenty of height for your, your shoulders and so on three inertia reel belts you've got the isofix child seat uh, rear anchor points and it, it, it is it's a it's a really lovely car that that bit is kind of leatherette and then we've got a checker pattern here and also it's detail like you would expect in a luxury saloon really you've, you've got the contrast stitching as well um rear electric windows it's it's a really nice vehicle in the back uh, plenty of room just take you for riding it So it's uh, keyless entry, keyless ignition as well. So as long as you've got these keys in your pocket, you can open the door, you can lock it. Um, and you can also, once you put your foot on the clutch there, you can start the vehicle. Um, we're gonna service it before it goes out. Uh, we think it has been serviced since, but just to be on the safe side, uh, the previous owner did tell us it had been serviced. Uh, or had a, a full service history uh, as you can see here at 21st of the uh, 12 2016 at 5350 and um, let's just see what it's done now let's see it's done 28,381 miles um, so rather than search about and try and find out who serviced it we're, we're just going to service it and bring it up to date ourselves turn that air conditioning down which is uh, although it's dull and windy today it's it's fairly warm I'll go a bit more forward I think yep that's about it and then we've got height and reach adjustable steering wheel as I say it's, it's only a little car but it's got all the big car features um, we've even got heated seats here so uh, auto air con or climate control and uh, let's just get these mirrors right don't want to give anybody an excuse for leaving a comment and telling me how bad I drive <laughs> great cars Fords um, I started off my life selling Opals which were fantastic and then we got voxels thrust upon us, which weren't fantastic. Uh, sadly, uh, they, they were okay when once Opel had taken them under the wing, but at first we had uh, great little cars like the Opel Cadet. And the first car we were getting was a Vauxhall Chevette, uh, or a shove it, as we used to call it. Um, but even then, back in the early days, before Vauxhall got their act together, I always wanted to really sell Fords because we, we used to take Fords in part exchange. And I used to think to myself, why, why have they swapped? I must be a really good salesman. And uh, that wasn't the case because I'm not a really good salesman. But people, some people just want to change. But the gearboxes have always been fantastic on Fords. They really are tremendous. And uh, I've, I've always liked Fords. Well, we took a Granada 2.8 gear IX in once, and uh, that was awesome. It was one of the first cars we got with air conditioning in, and uh, this lovely six cylinder engine. Uh, I, I used to uh, go all the errands in that, it was fantastic. Anyway, back to this, sorry. So really good specification car. It's got Bluetooth hands-free. It's also got Bluetooth audio streaming. I'll show you how to do that later. And uh, how, to, how to pay your mobile, how to delete one, and uh, how to stream audio. It's really, really simple, great system. Five-speed gearbox. As I said before, I, I have used a couple of these uh, little vehicles with a six-speed gearbox. and six speed it's a it's a lot it's got long long legs it's a, an overdrive and you put your foot down and nothing, nothing 
just nothing seems to happen until you change down. So probably the five speed box is, is just perfect. The, the fuel economy just between uh, combined and uh, extra urban only being one mile to the gallon, that kind of worries me a little bit. But to be fair, if I was getting 65 miles to the ga gallon, I, I think I could put up with a, you know, just a, a nagging doubt at the back of my mind. But it does drive well. I've actually been using it for the last couple of days. Uh, we've, we've sold my car and this uh, hasn't had the road tax plundered yet, mainly because it's only £30 um, a year, which is for nothing. It's absolutely for nothing. I've got a strange feeling about this guy in front. I don't know what he's trying to achieve. He's just going to like hang a left at the last second, whether he's trying to slot in or. No. We'll see where he ends up going around the uh, roundabout anyway. So, another great feature on this car uh, heated front screen. Not, no indicators, nothing. Just guess where I'm going and what I'm going to do. Uh, seats are really comfortable. This checkered pattern, um, kind of cotton stroke velour in the centre. It looks a bit like um, some of the Alcantara stitching you see in the in the really really expensive cars. So that sort of design, and then it's got this leather et around the cloth it's, it's very very comfortable I to be honest I'd rather have I'll, as I said on many occasions I'd rather I, I like the look I prefer the look of leather seats um, I prefer to sit on Alcantara or uh, cloth than leather and um, you know they, they're making the design really really nice now especially with the contrast stitching now this this should be fun. He's in the inside lane. He's indicating right. Now what's he going to do? No doubt he's going up that way and not going straight on. He has got a van. All right, we'll just while we're waiting to see if he causes an accident, just check all the windows. Yeah, all the windows are fine. Um, we've got on the steering column here, sorry, on the steering wheel, um, here we've got cruise control. I almost want to follow him to see what he's going to do. Yep, he's pulled into the other lane. So he's just undertook three or four cars, knowing full well what he was going to do. Oh well. Just down here we've got USB and auxiliary and we've got, um, they obviously think these Ford Eco Support drivers are, are very thirsty people. We've got, um, we've got two cup holders in the front there that will hold either a flask or a, a 20 ounce Starbucks, a venti latte or even Big Bertha. We'll also hold two more here. However, not with the front and centre armrest down. And then there's another one here. So it'll hold three there, two there. And then in the back, on either side of the rear seat, is space for another one. So uh, everybody can carry at least one drink and some even too. Now, th this is where I always want to change into uh, six gear, but we're doing two and a half thousand revs. Oh, 
always this thing in front. I thought we'd been buzzed by a helicopter. It's this bean can. The smell of oil. A registered. Lambretta. wipers and the thing virtually every low mileage car the wipers are all, always knackered high mileage you're out all the time low mileage if it's raining they don't go out so they don't need the wiper blades so the on switch for the cruise controls in the center and then we can set it either like so and reduce speed like so. So, cruise is working there. G registered. So, what was that? What would that be? It's flipping it. Done off. I mean, the beautiful things, but they need to be in the uh, on the Amalfi Coast, not not here. So anyway, on in the centre, and you can set with the plus or minus, and you can increase your speed, reduce, knock it off, or even uh, cancel or resume here on the right-hand side. Nice, nice car to drive. A uh, little bit, probably bounce is not not the word. It's only got a little uh, short wheelbase, and it's high up, so you you feel the bumps a little bit more. Um, when they're coming at you fast, when they're coming at you slow and you're going over uneven ground then uh, you, you've got more ground clearance so um, and they're, e they're a damn sight easier to get in. I, I had a struggle to get out before with from the back seat. Here we go, we've got, we got a clear run. It's only a, not a sports car so here we go. look at that going around the corner here, beautiful. Oh, we've upset, we've upset the guy in the jet. <laughs> I don't know, some people, he's, <laughs> he's just been out accelerated and manoeuvred by a, a little Ford EcoSport. It's <laughs> obviously, Oh dear, mate. He was that annoyed he forgot to indicate when he pulled out. Ah, oh dear. Right, we'll just give it some uh, side to side, make sure everything's all right on the suspension. Going the Range over there on the wrong side of the road. But when you've got a Range Rover, you own the road so you can do whatever you want, park wherever you want. Look at that. Yeah, no noises, no cracks, no knocks, no nothing. No complaints from anywhere on the suspension. Brakes are all good. Oh, 
will uh, pretty much finish the test drive there. Um, I, we, we actually took this in part exchange. It's, uh, it's a nice vehicle, will suit somebody. Nice high spec, small car. Good color combination. And um, we're, we're behind a Ford Fiesta now. It was only doing 40 miles an hour. So I'll finish the test drive. Remind you to, if you would, if you've got any benefit from the videos, please like and subscribe. It does mean a lot and it helps us with rankings and so on. Check out our web store. There's all sorts of stuff for motorists. Um, we've just got, well, we, we've got a nice t-shirt company as well. It's got some of the old style t-shirts film t-shirts and, and so on and we've also got road angel dash cams and one thing I would say is you should always get a, a road angel dash cam last night when I was going home from work in this normally I have it in my Range Rover a, a taxi one of these like van sized taxis came through the traffic lights on the right mine was on green and been on green for ages he came through on red uh, nearly t-boned me and he actually had a child in a child seat in the passenger seat now what a taxi is doing with a child in a child seat in the passenger seat I'll never know but the well the, the, the kid could have been dead we all could have been dead because the taxi driver was a complete tosser but the one occasion when I've not got my dash cam uh, and that happened so for, for the for the price get one um, there's there's a link at the bottom for our for our website our web shop and uh, we we're not going to get rich quick out of it we do get a small commission if you buy an item after clicking on one of our links um, but if, <laughs> I'm not going to get rich anytime soon <laughs> but it, uh, it helps fund these cameras which I, I seem to break very very regularly so um, I'll, uh, I'll catch you in the next video thanks for watching and see you next time